I never thought for a million years we'd be doing stuff like this. And it's just the tip of the iceberg, and it's, it's scary. It's scary, man. I'm just blessed that people, I have people around me who support me, and if it wasn't for them, I couldn't be doing none of this. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the road trip. I'm your host, Johnny Boy. We're all set to go. Everything's packed. We're just waiting on Serena Ace. We'll see how long he takes. Vinny! FYI, we are not 18 years old, and this is not a high school senior after prom trip, okay? Yes, here's to that. Get on the road trip. Oh, we have your mixer, do you feel me? Professional. Baby, we ready, we ready. Woo! Oh, that one. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> yeah. There's a turtle over here. There's a what? There's a turtle over here. Yo, there's a turtle! Can you take it to the back again? Alright, I'll get to you. I feel like I'm going to write some amazing music this week. Definitely going to write some amazing music. We don't even got a name for the album yet. We got none for you yet, bro. Whew. I always wanted to do um, an album at a beach, like a time capsule piece. And um, with me beating COVID last year, I kind of, I kind of said to myself, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna do everything on my bucket list in the next couple of years that I always wanted to do with this music, whether, whether it's big on a big scale or a small scale. And this is the first thing, and we're here. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And we're gonna make an album in the next six days, and whatever, whatever music is made in this house this week. It can't be touched, it can't be altered, it can't be fixed, it can't be redid. Everything here is here. The only thing is gonna get mixed by Big Bro Tracks, but other than that, it is what it is, you know? And it's all a time capsule piece. And once we leave here, we're gonna leave here with some amazing music. So, so as the camera knows, I saw the weather and got nervous before I handed my phone over. <laughs> so I'm wearing more of my music video fits. I'm like, the weather's too nice. I want to look good. It's a slow one. I mean, I always like to start off projects like, uh, I guess you could say, like a down feeling. Yeah. 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 Spoken, gotta keep it, gotta, gotta keep going, cause I can't keep up, cause I live without knowing. Very important to you. Don't worry. Jackie, can't you go and get drunk or something? <laughs> I got dreams, I can't sell this. I got dreams, never sold it. I got dreams, never sold it. I like that, you got dreams, never sold it. Focus, dreams, never sold it. Spoken. Gotta speak up, homie, gotta keep going Cause I can't give up, I can't live without knowing All that commotion, all the boys in the back Johnny rolling, I've been working hard and you notice Can't let you down, now I gotta stay focused Cause I got dreams, and I know I never sold them I'm the man, 2019, I know I told them I've been working hard Good, pause it, play that back <laughs> Mixed with these emotions Yeah, you see me here, but my mind is free flowing Tell me where we going Somewhere by the water, but I'm lost in the moment No, I need love, but my heart too broken Cause the truth hurts With these words I've never spoken Gotta speak up, homie I'm a man in the moment I just wanna live life in the moment yeah. I guess you want to hook, bitch right, Come on, let me run that verse back my name is Johnny Boy, you know what I'm saying? And uh, what do I do? I do a lot. I stream on Twitch. I make music. I do podcasts. And I even, you know, I even tell people what to do at a certain place of eatery. <laughs> you know, my days of work. But, you know, 
I do a lot, man. I think I'm just overall an entertainer, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's what Johnny Boy does. He does everything you could want. I'm just trying to put a smile on people's faces, you know what I'm saying? My connection with Serene Ace. Unfortunately, we had a job together one time uh, at his place of work in Bordentown. And he was working uh, one, um, what, what is that called? Uh, he was working one different uh, section. I was working a different. Um, but he was a real cool guy. Vinny just likes to talk to people, as you know. So one day Vinny just started talking to me, and that's just really how it went. I knew Vinny made music. Uh, and one day I had this song that I tried to get out. And uh, Vinny's the guy who I hit up. And we all know Guava. And that's, what, that's all it is, man. He got a feature. He helped me put it out. And that's really where the new relationship started. Vinny's dreams are just similar to mine. It's, we have different goals. Obviously, after watching his interview, you just see that he has a much bigger ambition, a much more team-oriented drive. I think my goals are more selfish in a way where I just want to do shit that makes other people happy, but not the way he does where he wants to set them up. I just kind of like, I've always, I'm an entertainer, so I just really want to make you like laugh or enjoy what I'm doing. So after watching Vinny's interview, I realized that he's doing it for a different reason than me, but it's a great reason. And that shit's like, I don't know, man. That shit's crazy to me. Second place is really just the first to lose. And I never lose. I don't pick and choose. You know this what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do. Yeah. You up? Heavy word, I've misspoken. It's crazy cause you misheard it. When we're in the ocean. How can we miss this moment? So you guys change the change the rhythm at the second half right there. Okay. Hold on, I'm still trying to find how to say the ocean the moment. I don't want to say it like that. Okay. So I'm still just figuring how to end that. But I definitely like how I go. It's yeah, crazy because yeah, yeah. you miss it. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna be crazy. Yeah. I don't wanna lose no focus. We're young, baby, yeah, we earned it when we're here by the ocean. How can we miss this moment? Mm. Oh, I don't even know where that came from. That shit was crazy. Yes, it was good. What did I say? <laughs> I hate that he does that. Yeah. What did I say? That shit is phenomenal. I was I was stressing this morning, bro. Day one, I thought things were gonna be a lot quicker. We were gonna get moving, but you can't you can't force creativity, you know. And you can't rush. No, we can't. We you can't force it, bro. And no, no. Now I am because we're we're flowing now. We we did the intro. We're about to do the second track. I'm working with Scott Storch over there and his outfit on, but um. No, I'm saying no. We're doing good though. Day one, at least we get two to three songs done. We'll be straight. I'll be happy. Nah, he's getting ten done today. You only got. A few okay, days. I'm actually glad you're gonna do that because I want to get some beats. Uh, I'm huh? in mode today too. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm down to work. Drink? You want to drink on vacation? Johnny Boy got you, man. We shave ice out here, man. I'm a professional, <laughs> all right? All right. The ice is too cold. Just make it happen, man. Jeez, Louise, fucking losers. No, no. Come with me though. I'm gonna show you a drink though. Come over here, right? All right. You start with your ice, all right? You then start with your Svetka pineapple mang, all right? You feel me? If you're under 21, don't do this. Okay? We're gonna pour this right here, all right? A little bit of it, all right? Or a lot, depending on what kind of day you're having. We're gonna pour it at you. Feel me? You feel me? There's ice in the cup and there's ice on my fist. Pay attention, okay? He's a big fan of fear and loathing in Las Vegas, hence the outfit. Whatever that means, okay? Next, you're gonna get your pineapple juice. It doesn't have to be Goya, I'm Spanish, that's why, okay? Get your, get your pineapple juice, you pour that in there. Boom, you're gonna go halfway up the cup with that one. Boom, pineapple juice. Love it, we love to see it. It's Goya, so it's well seasoned. Okay, okay then you come in your fridge, keep these cold, it's, keep it cold. You're gonna get your lemon juice, okay? This is professional lemon juice. We don't mess with no basic stuff over here, okay? Lemon juice. Sheesh! You still use it? Yeah. I think you guys. Sheesh! Lemon juice, okay? You understand? And then this is the most important part. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you have your Moscatos on deck. We clearly make too much. We need more. We're good. We're good. Make sure when you open a bottle of wine, you know what you're doing. It's, it's very difficult. You have to do it right, okay? Perfect. Okay? And you're just gonna top them How off, man. He do? With your Moscato. You're just gonna top it off. And boom, you're good to enjoy some Johnny juice. So I get a reaction on camera. Be sure you stir it, gentlemen. Let's get the reactions. I really like the guy on TikTok with my Whatever you want, man. 
Let's do the damn time. Why would you do that? <laughs> but then the ice is, is like... Makes it harder. I was about to say, yeah. yeah. Alright. Greg, yeah. cheers. Uh. Tastes like a felony. <laughs> Johnny, this is dangerous. It's good though. This is dangerous. Good. There you go, cameraman. Yes, sir. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't want to be. I don't want to be thirty f in my thirties and wondering why, or what if, you know. And I got. I got so many great people like Duvac and and you and Matt. And, you know, everyone just who tells me Johnny. But like, I got. I got all these people that, that tell me like, yo, you can't just stop. Like me and Duvac have these conversations at least every couple months where I'm like, I'm done. I'm done with all this. I'm done. And Duvac's like, no, you're not. Every other month. <laughs> <laughs> and you yeah. guys are going to know you got a feature from the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've known Vin, what, since 2015, I think? Yeah, I was like a year out of high school. I met him through a mutual friend. Mm. And um, at the time, I had only been producing for about a year, so I, I was only really producing for maybe a couple other artists. And I was looking for more artists to produce for. And the mutual friend that introduced me to Vinny basically said, yeah, I got this friend of mine. Uh, he raps, he makes music or whatever. Uh, here's his Facebook account. So I hit Vin up on Facebook and I was like, yeah, bro, you know, I'm a producer, kind of new to the game, looking for artists to produce for. Here's my shit. And then he was like, all right, bet. I'll get back to you. Listens to my shit. Uh, apparently really liked it. And we made, I think, like reservations to actually link up. I don't know if it was supposed to be like a week or so later or a few weeks later, but basically we wound up linking up before we were actually planning on linking up because he was doing a live performance at my friend's college house and I happened to go there. And when I went there and saw that he was performing, he was in the back chilling with Mozzie, smoking the hookah with everybody. So I walked up and I introduced myself and that's basically... You know, at first I was like, yo, bro, what's up? And he had no idea who the hell I was. And then after I walked up to him and I said, yo, it's Duvac, he just stood up. Oh, shit. We dapped up and yeah. Because it's like you're, you're in between spitting and melodic right now, but I feel like for a track like this, it has to be one or the other. Tons of commotion, Johnny boy knows that he rolling I've been working hard and you know this Can't let you down, now I gotta stay focused cause I got dreams And I know I never sold them, I'm the man 2019 I know I told them, I told them Alright, play that back, that should, that should be the take Focus cause I got dreams And I know I never sold them, I'm the man 2019 I know I told them, I told them This is so relaxing. Hi, Gene. Hi, Dan. Oh, this is so chill. What up, what up? Day two of recording. Right now what we're doing is we're finishing some of these skeletons of songs. We're finishing one of these matte beats that were crazy. What I'm about to do now is some ad-libs. So, if Burns keeps this audio, it's gonna sound a little funny. Woo! Yeah! Just run from the tub. I'm the only, the only one who's technical difficulties, right? It's so annoying. Now, no one's gotta find out where we at now. Don't waste no time, no. You just 
just gotta call me, you just gotta call me If you want all of me, baby just call me Call me over, when you ain't feeling you Call me closer, heartbreak ain't nothing new Get lost in the sunset, know you blessed, give it all to the number So call me over, so call me over C minor, because uh, there's no A flat minor. There's A flat major. There's no A flat. G sharp major then. This too is like you. I make some. I make mostly like love songs and stuff. But like, you you see you play you play your music for some of these people. You're like you see their emotions to the music, and it's like it makes it worth it. You know, you get what I'm saying? Like playing somebody, having some people tell me like, yo, this song really put me in my feelings thinking about A, B, and C. And you kind of change stuff like that. Even if it's on a small scale right now, it's just like, it makes that, that's what makes me worth it. Makes it makes you motivated. It's like, all right, well, if I did that with just one song, imagine if I do that with 10, you know, or 20, and then it keeps going. And then you put together these bodies of work and we're doing like this time capsule piece. We're doing all this stuff. It's like, I'm not going to stop, man. Like, I, I, I can't, you know? This fucking guy is lighting a cigar with a... Oh my God, bro. Oh man, we gotta make do what we got, okay? All you've been doing is crying all trip. What? What? Look at this guy, get him on camera. Sing, sing on my hook, man. Sing on my bridge, hook, man. Bridge. All I sing wanted to do bridge, was do a bro. bridge for one song and he wouldn't do it. Yeah, he doesn't care about me. Damn right I don't. <laughs> Bitch ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just finished what? We did four songs today. Yeah. We finished them. Uh, I think we're heading to the beach a little bit, right? We're going to go to the beach, I think, in a little bit. Uh, Dan's getting dinner prepared. And uh, I think we're actually going to relax a little bit more today. Relax. You know, we worked hard. I, this morning I woke up at what, like 8 o'clock? Got right to work. I was, up, I was up before Burns and Duvac. What? I was up before you. I mean, secondly, you're not lying. But you did. We're like, yo, bro, wake me up. I did, I did. I do appreciate you waking up early because that was one of the things I was thinking about. Like, bro, it's 8.30. I'm trying to just get straight to the coffee machine. I don't want to fucking walk all the way upstairs to wake your punk ass up. What? You heard me. Wake your punk ass first up. First off, first off. Ain't nothing but a Compton thing. We're supposed to be good friends, and he can't even just wake me up. I don't have my phone, so I have no alarm. I don't have any of that stuff. He's self look at him. He's selfish. Look at him over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's shut the way down this. I know you feel a way. When I'm out at it, don't worry, no, it's all okay. You wanna get away, you always listen what they gotta say. No, I don't play, no, that I'll never walk away. They say the grass is always greener on the other side. What is life if you're not there to save the night? I'm trying to get it right, yeah, you know I'm alright. What we gonna do when you're not here, boss? I'm not a player like you. Uh, I know. You'd be good. How you doing? Uh, Ron? Yeah, I'm good. Let's go see what Matt's doing. This is mass mass producer section. What the fuck? Playing Call of Duty right now. <sighs> What's up? Oh, you have to aim and shoot. You actually have to physically aim to shoot. This? This, is, this might be my favorite. I don't know. I like it long, but this verse is fire, dude. This was the one that got me like in my zone for on, on day two. This got me in my zone on day yeah, two. Yeah. Uh, paranoid when you don't text me first Said I love you, but you really love the hurt You want a new purse, whole designer shirts You want the finer things in life, but you really just don't know your worth I can put you on, I can put you on Gotta have it now, I'm going out and having fun And I really wanna chill now, go and get to know ya Better things for you. I feel like with the album, I feel like I wanna keep it with the setting of here That's why I keep mentioning like the water, the waves the ocean, like I, I want to keep it like I want to keep the the substance of it like, like it's a story down here. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, it does. Yeah. I, I could definitely feel that and like how you're like writing it. Yeah. Shit. Eco trippy, right? Follow me. Don't ever. 
say, I don't do shit for you. And that's how we do it. Live by the ocean, where the burns now keep the camera rolling. What we doing now, we party till the morning. What we doing, getting lit by the ocean. Yeah, this is our moment Listen clear these words i spoken Ain't here for these fake emotions I got class, yeah Might blow a bag, yeah Bitch, I'm back, this is my stage Mix the juice with the bomb, babe Knew I make it to Broadway Since way back in the hallways Now we get the stage left I don't owe you respect Take a bow, see the crowd Who they want, me next Gotta give them what they want Get a standing ovation I ain't really wanna flaunt Rather be stargazing Know they want an encore But I'm on vacation Kicking back by the shore All perfect location Getting ready to go on this boat. We we're supposed to shoot a music video. Uh, my life is golden like a Johnny change. I made a promise to my day ones that I'll never change. I'm in the room with these girls and they bad like Rihanna. And they got it from their mama, but they causing too much drama. I'm the man, I'm the man, they don't understand. They yelling crescent boys like we was a boy band. I'm a star in the making, baby, can't you see? I'm starting in the field, you just in the nosebleeds Lost my ways and I'm rolling on a road trip Yeah, With the homies making dreams right by the ocean No phone on my only in the moment On the boat, we back on road, the truth, you know I wrote it We getting lit by the ocean No texting, no driving, please There's no texting going on, sir Yeah, no texting You're on your phone and driving What dance time? What's going on, everyone? Hold on, hold on Dana Gonzalez, manager, host of Shut Up and Listen, live on location tomorrow. And I, one of the original members of Sha. What is your connection to uh, Serene Ace? Any messages on uh, uh, we also We also met at Shop right five years ago. Uh, I don't know what it was. I think I was just randomly talking to him. And it was just like one of those like instant connections. Started bringing me around. <laughs> Started meeting, you know, you, met Milan. I already knew Johnny previously, Duvac. I've known Matt since sixth grade. Yeah, it was one of those, you know, you just randomly talk to someone and all of a sudden you hit it off and now we're here. At first I was a manager. Uh, I managed Vinny, you know, make sure all the day-to-days are handled. Make sure, you know, he's taken care of, you know, amongst that. Just make sure things like in a perfect Johnny aligned too. schedule. Johnny too. I, I somewhat managed Johnny. I let him do his own thing. I got a free um, agent over here. <laughs> <laughs> free agent Johnny, over Johnny's here. got a John Lee, Johnny's in the creative group, but Which, uh, um, but uh, then we, then me and Johnny <laughs> ventured off. We started the Shut Up and Listen Sports Podcast. Uh, we've been going at it for about a year and a half now, and uh, that podcast is growing day by day. A few months ago, we we finally broke a thousand listeners in total. Just gotta make sure, like I said, make, make sure everything's organized. Obviously, obviously, stuff's not gonna go as planned. So you just gotta make, you just gotta kind of like with with Vinny, you just gotta keep them like you know, don't let them overthink. You just gotta keep everything leveled, keep everything the way it is. You know, just con- you just constantly reassuring that you know we're gonna figure this out if something doesn't go right. Johnny, Johnny's Johnny's just easy to work with. Sometimes he gets a little. What about yesterday? Sometimes he gets a <laughs> sometimes. The only thing with Johnny, the only thing with Johnny is he gets. He gets a little overly excited, which is great. You love the energy, but sometimes you gotta like reel him back in. But other than that, like it's just it's positive vibes the whole way through with Johnny. So you know, as long as he's happy, you know, it gets everyone else happy. So basically, I'm just by association. My brother Danny is uh, Serena Aces and part-time Johnny Boy's uh, manager. Um, so yeah, a couple years ago, uh, when. My brother moved into your guys' house, he started bringing me around, and uh, I started building a connection with you guys, and I consider you guys all family now. What do you think about Serene Ace's music? It's definitely different than what is considered popular now, but you know, that's what's going to make him famous, that's what's going to make him popular. That's because people are, are going to get tired of listening to the same thing over and over again. And he just makes vibey music. It's just, it's nothing to like, go crazy about, but you know, when we're chilling out here, 
on the boat, it's just something to pump and, you know, just chill and vibe. And I'm definitely about that vibe of music. What do you think of the whole thing that we're doing down at the beach house and like doing all this, like making a whole out production down here, just for trying to create like a new sound? I think it's awesome. I think it's uh, it's definitely inspiring. You know, it's uh, it goes to show people that you can do whatever you set your mind to. And and yeah, you know, it's uh, it's just an amazing thing to see because eventually one day we'll look back on we'll look back on this and be like, wow, we really did that shit before any of this music stuff popped off. We told ourselves that we were gonna do it, and we did it. What's next after this? We, I mean, well, apparently Dan's not cooking dinner because I ate all the chicken. Can't even uh, get the boat started. <laughs> we're actually stuck here for the next eight hours. Uh, no, I mean, we're going to go back. We're going to record some more music. Matt's going to make some more beats. I still got like 40 more Duvac beats to go through. and uh, We're going to try to finish up some of the album tonight. And we're going to drink. We're going to chill. I think we're going to party. We got, uh, we got some special guests coming tonight. Uh, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. So... What's it like to actually, did you, did you even expect to drive the boat today? No, absolutely not. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> Funny, right? He called me captain, right? Because I thought it was a joke. Yeah, and then, but then the owner... And then, then he does it a second time. We're like, yeah, he really about it. And then he's like, yeah, no, come on, captain. And I like, come on to the boat. And then he's going to tell you how to drive it. And I was like, wait. I was like, oh, he means I'm the you know, captain. the guy who's shop, I think the guy's the owner. You know what he said? We're like... Please don't call him Captain. He's gonna feed his ego. And he was like, "You can call whatever the fuck you want." <laughs> You're like Captain Shit. That's what he kept calling. So I produce. Uh, I started uh, doing that. Let's see. When did I start that? Oh my gosh. It's been a little over a year. I've been. I started producing. Uh, I've been playing guitar for like 17 years now. So I started off playing a guitar, and pretty much what I would do is I'd record guitar parts, send them over to Duvac, and he'd make his magic. My connection to Serini Ace. I met it, let's see, we met around 2013. We were working a shop right together. And uh, the summer of 2013, one day he just asked me to like, hey man, you wanna uh, come to the beach with us? And it was just a group of people. Some of them I think are even here. We need help. Milan is. That's when I met Milan. And ever since then, we just kind of clicked and became best of friends, man. <laughs> what it said eight years later we'd be living together shit crazy so what does music actually mean to you it's a damn good question that's honestly a very very good question to be asked but you have to be prepared to answer that I don't know if I have the best answer for that right now but honestly man music's everywhere music is right now you're hearing something of that's, that could be music, you know, like the ambient sounds of the waves crashing against the boat and shit. It's life, man. It's all, it's part of life. And without it, you know, what does it matter? What does life, how does life matter without it, you know? It definitely brings a lot of different people from around the world together. It's a universal language, you know. But uh, in five years, I hope to be like, Doing some pretty, uh, I hope to be pretty well known by then as far as like production goes and stuff like that. Maybe. Let's go. Let's get out of here. <laughs> this is too much sun for Dan. Uh, oh, yeah, let's go! Let's go! Serena Yates, you know what it is, man. Johnny Boy, we in the building. Gang, 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 gang. Dude, this was awesome, man. Shot a great music video. We uh, got some good footage for the dock. It was on the water. Dan complained the whole time. It was great. Dan complaining was probably the best part. Dan hates the sun. He hates getting sunburned. <laughs> this man. Oh, there he is. This man what? This man. This man what? He will always do anything I ask him to do, though. He's a great friend. He's my brother. I love him to death. Yeah.
What's up with it? You ready? Fuck you, dude. I'm allowed to. I'm allowed to. Let's go. Let's get the word. Let's go. I'm allowed to. You're going to hook right here, just got it over here. I heard that beat, and then when I heard that you were coming like a couple hours ago, Yo. I was like, I was like, yeah. When you played that, I was like, that's the one that we're going to. You, I don't know. I'll you guys know me one. more than I realize. Nah, I bro, I know your there. sound, bro. I'm yeah, a yeah, I still do A and R. I'm A and R still, bro. Come on, man. I just keep saying I don't wanna. Uh, like, you know, as a net, but like, I really don't wanna say I don't wanna. Okay, okay. Yeah, you could do something totally, like, you could complete. Cause that's a breath, that's a breathing point, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you could flip everything, you know what I mean? Or, you know, go ride it. So, I, this. so, I know Sirene Ace by basically uh, initially being in like a, a music collective. You know, it was a collective of artists, we were coming together. And uh, just kind of trying to, you know, we were all passionate about the same thing, music. And we just began working together, whether it's collaborations, heading out to shows, um, uh, songwriting, and uh, just really spending time as like friends and things like that. So that's kind of basically how we met. Yeah, a question to ask. But um, you've heard Serena Ace's music, what, like, besides like the last, like, what, two or three weeks ago? Besides that, how long has it been? It was like a while, right? It's been it's been a while, a couple several so, years here now. What do you point. think the skill gap is now? Like, how much has he improved since then? It's a good question. Um, so me and him were actually talking about this like earlier. So I I feel like before uh, we talked about like how he he felt like he was we were making music, but he felt like he didn't like really have like his identity. Mm -hmm. And what I'm noticing now, as I listen to each track, is that like. Each track, I'm noticing that there's like I like I told him there's I can't put like a specific word on it. I can't put it into fully words. But every time I'm listening to a track now, I'm noticing that there's a consistency of something in the midst of each track. In the midst of each track, and uh, I, I don't know if it's like the flow. I don't know if it's the delivery. I don't know if it's uh, the melody. But there's something that he's doing in each track that is allowing me to recognize like yo, this is him. You know what I mean? And I feel like that alone is like showing me like, yo, this is a brand, this is him. He's actually coming to himself in the music space. And uh, it's it's basically growth, especially when you can, it's not like a hit or miss. He's like hitting on it. Like he's he's himself in like a lot of his tracks, especially not a lot more now than ever, so. How do you feel about the album that, uh, well, you've heard most of the album yeah, yeah. down here. So how do you feel about what's going on here? Uh, I think that it's, it's inspiring. It's it's really dope, and um, I think he's doing what a lot of artists like. Either they have had ideas about doing, uh, but not really executed on them. He's actually doing it and living it. He's at his beach house, um, take it, took away his phone for this whole time frame, and just focused entirely onto the music and the creativity aspect. And uh, I think that's just like that's build that that's creating like an environment and an atmosphere for us to understand like while we're in here we're taking this thing serious and you know it's fun it's it's dope you know what i mean but we are we're taking it serious like we're taking the music serious the creative process very serious and you know he's all the way tuned in he doesn't even have his phone no social media nothing like that so i respect that battle with depression worry too much on first impressions mistakes they like just lessons gotta think for girls with too much attention she's stressing about some ig
first line you said? Shades of ice. Uh, dipping. Like chips, I'm gonna be dipping. <laughs> It's funny to read it. Just like straight out. <laughs> like chips, I'm gonna be dipping. Yeah. That shit goes on way more. To read it straight out, like in just a sentence form, is so funny rather than a lot. Of That's the best when you write like that. It's hilarious. Man. It's like you ever seen those old YouTube videos of like someone reading off like random like hard, explicit gangster yeah. rap music. Yeah. <laughs> what up, blood? What up, cuz? Yeah. What, what is up, up gangsta? <laughs> <laughs> Down to 95, like what you wanna do tonight? We take a couple shots, pack your bags, we gonna take flight. We just wanna go out, baby, live our best life. Like tonight was our last night. Vacay's on the way, where you wanna go? No play your way, we can take it slow. In the AM, in the AM, I just gotta go. All my play your ways, though, they just for sure. Where you wanna go? No play your way, we can take it slow. In the AM. So you walk, work, I know it's getting late You a bougie girl and you got great taste Top down in the car, now you know it's not a race One day, know your past, you gon' have to face That was better That was way better, I think Yeah, it was definitely, definitely Now we just gotta see which first half sounds better <sighs> Speeding down to 95, like what you wanna do tonight We take a couple shots, pack your back, we gonna take flight We just wanna go out, baby, live our best life Like tonight was our last night with the top down, what you love now? We don't wanna stop now, man. Going down the freeway, we don't have no worries. We ain't in no hurry, so we gon' cruise with the top down. Yo, I said, I said, vacay's on the way where you wanna go. We decided we were talking, and I got bad news. The bad news is we're, we're not going to do a documentary anymore. The good news is we have started a new cooking reality TV show that you can be a part of. So me and Bird talk about. He's in for it. He gets to eat some of the food. <laughs> you can't see the smile on his face, but he looks very happy. Man, this food's trash yeah, anyway. Look at it. I'll be the real judge. Oh, Iron Chef. Oh, you want to practice it real quick, you said? Uh, yeah, let me just like mumble it a little bit. Weather clear, let's be clear, I'ma take you out. Tell the girls to come through, I bring the brodies out. I know a nice place to eat, I could take you. Good times all the time, that's how I do. Gotta dip in the AM if you with that. Hard to take a break from my baby like a kid, yeah. You know I miss that, yeah, you know I miss that. I'm in the dog, I don't eat, I gotta get that. But I'll be back later on for the kickback. Live in this moment, cause you may not ever get back. This part right here, I need you. I need you. So to, you just—it sounds like you sound like doubling. Right? I need you to. Yeah, I need yeah. you to trust me, but I need you to literally just do word for word. Nice word. place to eat. I can take word. you. Good times, hard times. That's how I do. Gotta dip in the AM and you with that. That whole, that whole, that whole. Basically, just double it. Yeah. Okay, I got it. I think it's so dope when you have certain so many creative people around that you I think it's so dope when you have so many creative people around. And it just inspires you to want to just like make as much music as you Does that loop sound good? Would you work with something? Play it like again? That? I would. Can you play it again? Yo, he's nasty with it, yo. It's so annoying that he doesn't know how talented he is. <laughs> it's, it's so frustrating like, 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 that I work so hard at this. Yeah. And he could just all I said to him, yo, you was bump, you was practicing your shit. All I said to him, I walked up to him was like, yo, what are you working on? He was like, 
Now I'm like, I was like, I was like, yeah, I want something like acoustic for me and Mark to get on. And he was like, well, you know, Mark's here, I gotta get my guitar. And I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm, like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, all right, yeah, I mean, like, if you want to. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> and this man only had this shit out for five yeah, minutes, probably, and he yeah, just, played like, again, right. played again for the camera. Played again, played again, played again. I'm mad as hell that this man just came up with that shit super quick. That wasn't even five minutes, bro. You're so annoying. <laughs> You're so annoying. Yeah. Now I miss that a man who don't work, you don't eat, I gotta get that. But I'll be back later on for the kickback. That don't was literally like, if you, I, I, if people understood what they were hearing, it was like I was singing, right standing right next to myself. Yeah. And it was super crazy. All right, now do you want to harmonize anything? Do you want to like, um, or do you want to like go and ad lib anything? Or? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is how I usually do with my engineer. You just start that verse from the top, and I'm gonna just fill it in where yeah, I feel. Go ahead. So. Yeah, yeah. so you basically want me to like either like a high pitch, higher pitch, higher something on the same verse part of that. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Better than uh, I do. Yeah, yeah. I do. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's uh it's I don't know, it's it's something about it. They both dope, but yeah, I think dope, which one you like better? This one or the other one? Probably that one. This one? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like my verse is tighter on this one. It is crazy. It's crazy. I feel like the flow. I feel like my flow is a lot tighter on this one. Such a progression. Literally, Get ready for I got. Gene's photo I got shoot. the word. I am one of the photographers for Vinny, and of course, everyone in the front group. So I basically. Photograph everyone, make sure everyone has their album covers, content, and all that good stuff for social media. What do you think of Serene Ace's music? It's probably one of the best ones I've ever heard. I'm not into, like, his, like when it comes to his own type of music, his genre, I'm not really into it, but his own music is actually pretty fire. I really like it, for sure. What got you into doing photography? It's the passion I was born with. You know how everyone has their own passion they're born with or their own activity they like to do? Mine was definitely photography. I w ever since I was a little kid, I was picked up randomly disposable cameras and just... <laughs> I was always just taking pictures of random stuff like the walls and stuff like that. In five years, I definitely see myself way more upcoming with my photography business. I'm very busy at the moment with photography and stuff, but I definitely see myself way more out there. Where do you see Vinny in five years? He'll be right next to me while I'm photographing him, and he's going to be way bigger and way more exploded. Come on. Come on. You gotta get the, the lead come on. All right, come on. Oh, okay. Thank you. No, don't do that shit. That's why Dude, you don't listen to this piece of shit. Don't do that. Do it. Do it. Don't do that. Hey. Okay? Oh, he looks like cute. He's single. He wants to take someone to prom. Ladies, meet him there. <laughs> I, um, um. I, I can describe myself. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I like walks like I'm a beast. I'm out showing um, Brandon Carroll. Like so like, like, yes, I can intimidate an earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Just gonna have like a bunch of everyone take one step up and then like two people per step. Okay. okay. I'll, 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 I'm at the top, obviously. Yeah, Gina. Mm. Oh, we gotta get the tallest people. Grateful for Dan. I'm grateful for everyone here. It's just a blessing, you know? Just thankful for everyone. I can't do this without everybody, you know. And it makes me really appreciate all my friendships and all these relationships. We got Mark here this week and everything. Bro, it's so hot. Give me the fuck out of here. Today's not the day. This shit looks like water, but it's a desert. <laughs> I'm gone. It's a mirage. What the fuck? Yeah, it's a mirage. This shit ain't real. I'm not real. He ain't real. I guess I start I'm real. sitting on top of him. He, he, he real fake. fake. <laughs> <laughs> real fake. Oh shit, he is here. <laughs> How do you know Serena Ace? I met at Sol Luna about, uh, about five or six years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, hookah Lounge we used to always smoke at. And uh, I remember we always used to fight for one table. You and Vinny? Yeah, because uh, he used to work on his music there and I was on radio at the time so I used to prep my shows there. Then throughout time, you know, he started giving me pointers on social media, uh, on how to run that type of stuff, and yeah, ever since then we just became close. Why, why do you, why are you here? Why did Serena Yates invite you? Why I have no idea. You? <laughs> I have no idea. You have no idea? I have no idea. He, well, we're, we're also really good friends. We're, we're really close and, and such, and we both love music, so. You work on music yourself? Yeah, a little bit. What do I you do? do? You're a part of something? I am a singer. I am a... Uh, Right now, I'm a I'm a singer in Aussie tribute band 
called Bark at the Moon. Ooh. That's what I'm doing right now. And, uh, and of course I do, you know, various tracks when people ask. You know, I know that's one of the reasons why he wanted me to be here in case there's a song he wants, he thinks that will match my voice that's written. He wants me to be around to record it, so hopefully it happens. What have been your favorite part of the trip so far? Just hanging out with friends, having a good time, you know, and I love the beach. This is really fun here. What do you think about the music Serenity Ace has made so far on this trip? I like it a lot. I think it's uh, it has a good beach vibe, which of course is why we're here. Um, I know that's another reason why I'm here is because him and I always wanted to go to the beach together. Yes. You know, we're, we're huge, we're huge fans of the beach. And uh, so far I like it. I haven't heard it completely yet. You know, unfortunately, we're on kind of different sleep schedules, so I've, yeah. been, I've been passed out usually when by the time that they're playing a lot of the, the previous stuff, but from the stuff I heard, I, I like it. It's different. You've seen some of the creating process? Yeah, I've even, I've even been asked by uh, Nard, Nardog, Matt Nardone, to, um, you know, give a little bit of input on some of the songs, which has been pretty cool. Input uh, how? Uh, you know, see, if, if, you know, is this missing anything? You mm -hmm. know, um, I... I I advised him to put a bass line on one of the songs just because that he was saying like it's missing something. I'm like, try bass line here, and we just he just came up with something, you know, just something like that. Another simple, reason you're simple here. Stuff. Another reason you're here. Yeah. You're creative mind. Simple things. Thank you. That's, well, that's one of the things I think everyone here has in common. We're all creative people. Mm -hmm. In we our own way. Our yeah. Strengths. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why do you support Serena Ace? Friends support each other, mm. no matter what you do. Mm. You know, when when a friend asks for help, you help them. Hallelujah. That's all you get. That's all. That's what it's there for, you know. Otherwise, then why are you friends? Like if you don't, you know, if they, if they need your help, you help them as much as you can, and, you know. I like so, the I love mm -hmm. it. Yeah, that, that's it. You know, no other reason of that. In fact, we're friends. You know, like, well, obviously we're, as you can probably tell visually, we're in very different styles of music. But, but you're twins. That, but we're twins. That's the other. <laughs> <laughs> different styles of music, but you're twins. We're twins. Yeah, we have a lot of the same philosophy on things. That's that's what makes us uh, twins. Is that why you're twins? I think so. That was really the last question. <laughs> that was the last question for Greg. Greg, thank you so much. Of course. How do you know Serene Ace? Well, uh, I met him about uh, five, six years ago. We were working at ShopRite, and we were talking about music and life and just life, and we became best friends instantly. And Back then, no one, uh, Vinny, you think you would ever be at a place like this? I did not, no. This is fucking beautiful. And he's recording music, getting inspired by the, the scenery. It's amazing. <laughs> It's amazing. What have you noticed over time with listening to Vinny's music and shit? Have you noticed like a difference now? Oh yeah. Back then? His, what was his first hit? Summer Drive? Yeah. Woo! It was a banger. But no, seriously though, he's, he's gotten a lot better. Production wise, uh, his vocals got better, his melodies got better, like, I feel like way better. Where do you see Serene Ace in five years? Hmm. Like you said, I see him owning businesses. I see him going far. I, I see him going places. I see him owning a house like this in front of the water with you guys. I can see it in five years. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Now we had, so, so Matt decided to change. We changed the drums. Play it. It's not because that guitar, that guitar, bro, and our voice is gonna sound. It's gonna, it's gonna fill it up way more than. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're right. It's, it's yeah. This, this works. This definitely works. It's not so. It's not. It's only about so much you can do with it. That's like a pre-hug. Okay, well, you I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out, Johnny. Yeah. Just let me know the hook. That's the first. Oh, that's the hook. Yeah. We got about 12 songs. 
It's crazy between Duvac and that, yeah. between Duvac and Matt Beats. It's nuts. Uh, Mark Mark surprised me and came down. We got like three records now. You're welcome. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Um, Daddy's approval on that one. Right I told you, bro. I I'm telling you, I'm, down here. I'm telling you, man. If, if I can go back to 18 year old me, like, oh, this is the I'm just grateful, man. Young like, it's Yo, never thought fact. these things would be possible. Big facts. And it's like I'm so blessed to have these people around me that like support me and love me and care. And gang, gang. Not a lot of people get yeah, that. Over getting fucked up. Um, but no, nah, man, I'm just super grateful. We've we've all like worked. Tonight's our night to let loose, and you know my voice is very hoarse right now from recording a lot. But I don't know, man. I'm just blessed, and these people around me are the people I want to make money with, and people I want to go for these dreams with. You know. Thanks. It's just a blessing, you know? And like, I was just telling Duvac when we walked out here, man, like, did you really see this years ago when we first met? Nah, yo, not at all. This is the one track that I told you that. This is the track that I told you Whether or not things, whether or not things blow up the way they we want them to, it's just, just, just a week that like, it's just a week that I feel like none of us will forget, you know? And we just worked so hard and Everyone that's in this house and works hard at what they do. Um, we drunk as hell right now. That's why this shit is not as focused, but nah, I'm appreciative, bro. And I just can't wait for the next project to travel and do, man. I feel like this is going to be a thing we do now. And I'm blessed. What a week. We we had a mission. We had a goal. We had a lot of goals we wanted to set this week. And we really, we really achieved them, you know. We we created over 17 songs, and you know, I think we actually have an album. We got a lot of content. We shot a music video. We made a lot of memories, and you know, we saw a lot of true colors of friends, and it was amazing. It was inspirational, and I just hope the people that watch this one day, you know, when this comes out, I hope you get inspired to want to go create something and make something of yourself and be yourself because this week showed me that being myself, I can do anything I can. Anything I want is being yourself, betting on yourself, never giving up, letting people who laugh at you, showing them what's up. I can't be no more than blessing these people that were around me for this past week and inspired all this music and inspired all these dreams. And It's not about me, it's about we. And this team, this team that we have is something special and I'm super blessed. Me, we got, we had a lot of fun. We got, we had a lot to drink. We did a lot. I'm just proud of every single person that's in this house for what they're doing. I'm proud of you, Burns. I'm proud of Greg. I'm proud of, you know, Gabe for helping me out with my phone. No phone. I had no phone for six days. Disconnected from the whole world. And I think every vacation I'm going to do that now. It feels great. Not even looking for it, not even caring about it, you know. It's amazing and it's a real blessing. So please, you watch this. Be yourself. That's what matters the most. Be yourself and bet on yourself. Because at the end of the day, you are by yourself, but you have to be around a support system. And the world is yours. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Paranoid when you don't text me first Said I love you, but you really love the hurt You want a new purse, whole designer shirts You want the finer things in life, but you really just don't know your worth I can put you on, I can put you on Gotta have it now, I'm going out and having fun And I really wanna chill now, go and get to know ya Better things for ya, I could really show ya I can put you on to the better things Drink your wine slow to find out what the truth brings Every queen now doesn't ever need a king But he really gotta know now how to do his thing I can save you. I can really.